of all, um, I didn't like your video. Second of all, you are a racist based on the way you came off. And second of all, them big ass white booties I look at on YouTube are just as big as the big ass black booties you look at on YouTube. The moral of the story is this all these asses you see, these big old bulbous asses, those are for the white man, not the black guys. Understand what I tell you this because the master used to like to hit that black ass. Understand what I'm telling you. Whatever the hell your name is, I forgot what it is. But understand this clearly. You came off stupidly. You came off like a racist. First of all, only racists use the word wigger. When you want to classify a white person and mix it with the word nigger, you use wigger. And that is a racist statement created by a white man for white men to differentiate themselves from those who actually live and communicate amongst those in the black community. Let me keep on going a little bit further. The big asses, the super giant bulbous extreme booties are solely for the white man's pleasure and enjoyment. Understand what I say when I say this because ain't no way in life a quote unquote BE type BET type black system would allow that type of thing to be pushed across the air. On BET you don't see all these bulbous asses. In hip hop videos the young MCs are told that when you go to the strip club you looks at the ones with the big old booties and everybody knows you goes to the club so let everybody see what you see when you at a strip club. Therefore that expanded to what you get now. And like I said, these booties shaking on YouTube, the young black asses on YouTube, that's for the white man to look at. Where else is a sick, twisted motherfucker going to look at some young underage girl's asses but on YouTube with the booties right in the screen? Oh, yeah. And there's some white girls out there with some big old black asses. Your whole philosophy of why black men, why this is geared to the black man, is wrong. You need to find Sarah Bartman. She had a big old ass. And the white man took her body and exploited it. That's where it all started. Way back with Sarah Bartman. Do your math, boy. Do your studies. Learn what you're talking about. Because a black man don't necessarily want a big old juicy ass booty like that not no constant in the face all that shit like you came off in your video this is all black man want the shaking of black asses are for white male stimulation not black man because we have been taught to look towards other people for stimulation visual stimulation we look at sick white people do shit for visual stimulation. Just like white people look at sick black people do shit for visual stimulation. Am I coming off racist enough? Because I want to come off racist in this video. Because see, my people who know me know I'm not racist. I'm a man of all talents. I'm a multi-dimensional man. And I look at everything from every other perspective. As a black man, I don't want to see black women in a bad light. So what would I look for if I want to look for stimulation like you're talking about? I'd rather look at a white girl shake her ass knowing that it's degrading. I'd rather watch one of your kind degrade themselves. How do you feel when someone says things like that in that manner? Those black asses shaking are purely to stimulate the white man's mind. The fixational, ooh look at her big juicy brown booty. You have been programmed, boy. If you can't see it, then I can. Who's telling the truth? You spoke for two minutes on something sounding like a goddamn fool, but I'm going to break it down to you because I truly am not a racist. But how the mind works? Why are so many people attracted to the opposite sex? Because we're supposed to be attracted to the opposite sex. Why are people so attracted to the opposite color? because there's a fascination in that. So the big shaking of black asses have never been for a black man who could always have a black ass. Think about it. 
the mind stimulates itself. You show white women to stimulate the black man's brain, to turn him off of black women. You show those big old black asses that the white girls don't have. The average white boy goes nuts for a piece of black ass. So how the fuck you gonna tell me some old black they're giving these asses up to the black man? No, that's part of the stereotype. The stereotype. The stereotype. That is part of the stereotype in itself. That black men only want big old giant asses. No. That's where you came off racist by saying black guys this. So did I get to my point by trying to verbally belittle white people for a half a second so you could see something from a different perspective? As a marketing tool, what would I want to sell a white man from the corporate perspective? I want to sell him something that he can't normally get something he can't normally see something he can't normally touch a young piece of ass and I'll allow it to shake with any music playing on YouTube and then to make the white man feel good I'll let him know hey this is all black guys want this is what this this is what makes the brothers cool man so deep down inside while you hating you're not looking at how you're being manipulated I love my sisters of all shades and all colors and all sizes. I love everybody. But when you say this is for black people, then obviously you bought into it because you sit there and watch that shit in amazement and say, why do black people do this? Now, as far as cottage cheese asses, we all know White people got more cottage cheese asses than black people. Oh, come on, man. I got cottage cheese on my legs, and I only weigh 170-some pounds. Lazy motherfuckers gain cottage cheese. You can't shake no firmly ass and have cottage cheese ass. You see those uh, postcards of the big old fat, grotesque white women? Is that what all poor white guys like, the big, fat, nasty white women? Oh, wait a minute. The big, fat, nasty white women are the ones that black guys have, right? Based on a stereotype, brother always got to have the ugly white bitch. She can't be a woman. She got to be the ugly white bitch. Because a pure white woman would never be with such a dirty, disgusting, vile thing, such as a nigga or a wigger. Please, the choice of your words shocked me. It shocked me. This video was completely nonsensical. And I'm going to tell everybody watching to black people, big asses. Check out the story of Sarah Bartman. And then you will know who wants to see the big black asses. Hey, if not, I think I got the video somewhere. I'll put it in my favorites. Better yet, I will send you the video to show you how far some other people will go to exploit another person for their own well-being and got you thinking they doing it for me? No. They taught me how to watch porn when I was a kid. And when I was watching porn, it was all them fine-ass white girls doing some bad-ass shit. Nasty. And that was the separation. Because I don't want no woman to do that. And I ain't seen no black women do it. So why would I want to watch a black woman shake her ass when I want some sick, sadistic satisfaction? I'd rather watch some white people do it. That way I know I have a clean conscience. Now how racist did that sound? How real did that sound? So you don't want to come off like a racist and the first thing you did was call quote unquote not the BET generation, which is not really uh, not everybody black is into that BET shit. That was race. Man, no, I don't even want to. Oh, if anybody found any justice in this video, or if you know the crux of this video, pass it on. And for my white viewers out there, I'm just fucking with this clown. You know how I feel about people. This is just pitiful to see somebody say something as dumb as what this man just said. Oh, yeah. And for the record, He's been tubed.